okay today's topic is about the longest common subsequence longest common subsequence okay it is an application of the dynamic programming we know that uh, what is the top down approach what is the bottom bottom top approach so it is a good application and many competitive examination also i can see that uh, these types of the problem we can see okay so what is the problem basically let's understand with an example suppose we have a one string like a b c d g h and the second string we have like a e d f h and r do you know bit uh, difference between the substring and the subsequence the substring is basically in one string the substring is basically a continuous a continuous sub a continuous sequence this is the substring like abc abc is a substring here what is the subsequence the subsequence is not the continuous it will not be any continuous like a d h is a subsequence obviously uh the b g h is a subsequence obviously but uh, if i say about the g b c is it a subsequence no it is not so because it is not uh in sequence okay so the subsequence is that which is not continuous unlike the substring which is continuous okay so this is difference between the substring and the substring so here uh, the question is that longest common substring subsequence common subsequence means between these two string what is our so between these two string what is our longest common subsequence what is our common subsequence common subsequence is like a d a d match this to match so it is an uh, it is the common subsequence but is it the longest no because h is also there so if you say about the a d h then we can say it is the longest common subsequence because it is the longest a d h it is also a d h here is so a d h it is the longest further we cannot uh, find out any kinds of the common subsequence ad is also a subsequence ad is also a subsequence for the both but it is not the longest it is the length of two but here you can say this subsequence this two common subsequence of the adh it is the length of three so three is greater than two so we can say it is the longest common subsequence right so in the short form we can also say like that that longest common subsequence of s1 and s2 equals to adh of length 3 okay okay i will give the some example because without example we cannot actually understand it okay so let's start with an with an example so example number 1 so sorry it was so uh, it was the first example okay first example because without example we cannot understand this is the second example i am showing you the second example here this is the second example okay suppose we have a string a g g t a b and we have the second string that is actually our g x t x a y b okay what is the longest uh, common subsequence of the s1 and uh, s2 find out 
we can see that's G G next is T T next we can find A is there any A yes A B B so what is the longest common subsequence G okay G T A and B G T A and B it is very easy to understand right G T A B what is the length of that the of the length 4 greater than this 4 we cannot find out so this is the longest common subsequence for this example ok enough example now come to the applications what is the application of this longest subsequence we are finding out the longest subsequence ok of both means uh, between these two what is the longest subsequence we are finding out now what is uh, some applications of uh, this uh, of this uh, of this problem what is the application means uh, it is the longest common subsequence it is also longest common subsequence so what is the application let's understand about some application So, first application that come is, is human genomes. Do you know the human genome? So, in the human genomics, we find that kinds of the application of the dynamic programming. Means this longest subsequence problem also longest common subsequence problem also we, we can see on the human genomics how suppose we have one genome that length is a g t c t c g a suppose t t a g it is in billion it is in billion okay and the second string that is a t c g t c a if these two genomics genomes we have then how can I find that if these two genome is equal then we have to solve with the longest common subsequence problem then we can see then we have to uh, solve this problem with the longest common subsequence we have to find out that who the what is the longest common later we can find here if it is uh, matching then we can say that it is more related to this suppose we have another genome which length which uh, which uh, longest common subsequence is greater than this one suppose 6 3 then you can find out that it is more related they are more related or they have the some family relation okay so using the longest common subsequence algorithm we can very easily we'll see that what is algorithm means how to solve this problem we'll see I've just given some idea that uh, what is the longest common subsequence and using this algorithm we can find this algorithm we can find in various application like for example here it is human genomics the second example The second example which is more computer science driven application computer science driven application we can find out here also like we have two file file 1 and file 2 okay in the in the computer there is in two file file 1 file 2 if file 1 is modified from file if file 1 is modified from file 2 or in other words we can say that how much difference of file 1 is than the file 2 then we have to give we have to find out this problem with the longest common subsequence sub problem 
longest compound subsequence algorithm we have to find it okay if file one and file two, how much difference they have so in the unix operating system we have some command like diff in the unix or linux we have some uh, command of the diff using this diff command we can find out that whether this two file is equal or not and internally there is an application there is an application of this lcm internally they apply this longest common subsequence algorithm like they, there is a different kinds of the ai plagiarism check ai plagiarism check in the code there is a lots of coding competition so inside how the plagiarism will be checked by this algorithm here also the longest common subsequence algorithms also we uh, apply to check that if both two code is same or equal they copied or not so this is a good application the plagiarism check okay or uh, two electronic circuits if the two circuits is same or not the schema okay now let's understand that what will be our recursive approach or the recursive formula of the lcs so it is like a very innovative approach what is the recursive formula of the lcs so that i can come to a, a solve of the problem this is a very innovative idea really it is very innovative idea let's understand suppose we have an array or we have a string of length 0 to m minus 1 and we have this second array that is 0 to n minus 1 okay this two string we have then what will be our longest common subsequence for the length m minus 1 and n minus 1 okay because it is up to n mi m minus 1 it is up to n minus 1 so i am writing like this the result of the recursive algorithm any kind so we write like this okay so how to find out that what will be the our recursive formula so we know it is from 0 to m minus 1 and uh, it is from 0 to n minus 1 so we will find out with an example case 1 two cases falling here the case 1 suppose we have an example a g g t a x without example it is very difficult to find right suppose this is actually our first string and our second string is g x t x a y okay now compare from last it is a good idea to compare from last i have to compare from in this way okay is it matching suppose this is our x okay so sorry x is it matching if it is matching then both length now, suppose it has the length m minus y it is the length n minus 1 so both lengths 
will be decrease like here will be it will be m minus 2 and here it will be n minus 2 then our uh, then our problem will become into a sub problem of this one and this also will be sub problem of this one then again i will apply the same formula so what is formula x and y2 string we have we will track from the last if these two character of this string is matching then i will decrease the length of every string so that i can make the problems into a sub problems and can apply the same approach to every sub problem like here the a is matching then again i will apply the sub problem then again i will apply the for these two okay so in this way it is going on so when when the characters are matching or when the characters are matching then we can say that our sub problem will become into lcs m minus 2 of m minus 2 n minus 2 because uh, we are just uh, decreasing for both because it is matched we'll understand at later plus 1 because 1 is matched so what is the current length of the longest common subsequence of 1 whether we are doing from here to in this way or we are doing it is in this way it is the same like we are approaching it is like an uh, bottom top approach you can also do this into the top down approach in this way okay so it is happening when if x of m minus 1 equals to y of n minus 1 then only we are applying this but if like for the case 2 like for the case 2 suppose we are making an example here to our x is a b c d g h and our y is a e d f h r if we go in this way then we can find that h and r is not matching h and r is not matching then what i will do first i will take this with this and second I will do this with this means for one string I am de uh, decreasing for one step and comparing this whole problems with the all the letters of this problem without decreasing anything here and here also we are decreasing for the first string and comparing for the whole string and here we are decreasing for this one string and comparing with the first string means uh, the summary of it is that uh, with the uh, first strings uh, these types of the elements we are decreasing with this all and for the second string with all the elements we are decreasing with these all elements with this substring we are decreasing with this all element then only we can say this is okay so what will be our formula then and we have to find out the maximum of them all that is nothing but our max of lcs m minus 1 n minus 2 and LCS of m minus 2 and n minus 1 right when it is possible if x of m minus 1 
not equals to y of n minus 1. Generally, we are doing this. Good. So, how to solve this problem using recursion tree? How to solve this problem using recursion tree? So, using recursion tree. So, we have at first m minus 1, n minus 1, okay, we are dividing into three parts, whether if it is matched or if it is not matched, then I will say about the maximum of them both. So, if it is matched, then it will be m minus 2, n minus 2. Here it will be m minus 1, n minus 2. Here it will be m minus 2, n minus 1. Okay. Again, I will divide them. Again, these sub problems. Again, sub problem we are dividing into three sub problem. First one is m minus 3, n minus 3. Right? it will be because it is matched and uh, we'll find the maximum of them both like uh, m minus 3 n minus 2 m minus 2 n minus 3 here it also is going into three parts 2 3 1 2 3 So it will be like m minus 2, n minus 3, m minus 1, and n minus 3, m minus 2, n minus 2. Don't think that it is m minus 2, n minus 2 means uh, it is uh, decreasing in the same way. No. If it is decreasing for 1 because it is not matched. So if it is decreasing for 1, then it will become a minus 2. It will be as it is because it is matched. So both of them, I have to find out the maximum. And similar way here also, it is a minus 3, n minus 2, m minus 2, n minus 2, m minus 3, n minus 1 right so you can uh, see the tree that how it is growing very easily can understand that how it is growing if you have understood this one how it is going then it is very easy that uh, whenever uh, if there is a matching the characters then only we will uh, decrease the both if it is not matching then uh, with uh, with one string I will decrease and will compare with the uh, all the characters of the second string and then again I will uh, decrease the first uh, first characters a uh, first uh, strings uh, for one and will compare all the characters uh, so all the character for the second string so we'll consider all the uh, so we'll consider the whole length so it is not any decrement but here is the decrement okay so the same thing we are applying here also so we have to find this maximum it is matching here it is also matching here and it is maximum it is also matching here and it is also maximum good okay so the main point we have to see that first one is optimal substructure very important point okay optimal substructure and the second point that i have to care is the overlapping sub problem sub problem 
if anywhere in any problem one and two both exist then we can apply the dynamic programming can we apply first find out is it the optimal substructure what is the optimal substructure the optimal substructure means if the if the length is becoming lower l e n g t h length is becoming lower here we can see that the length is becoming lower l1 so i can give that it is the optimal substructure it passed first one the second one is overlapping sub problem is there any overlapping sub problem obviously yes you can find in the sub tree here it is m a here you can see this is the m minus 2 n minus 2 here also you can see the m minus 2 n minus 2 the same problem is happening for both times also you can see here is uh, let's find out yes m minus 3 n minus 2 here is also m minus 3 n minus 2 so you can see that the same problem is happening for two times is it a good idea to calculate again to give the stress to the processor again and again for the same kinds of the problem no so the overlapping sub problem is also happening here so it is also passing this idea can i apply dynamic programming yes because both is happening so dynamic programming means we know that every repeated problems i have to store somewhere and then it will it will be used if the same problem uh, happen in future uh, in uh, in further if same problem is happen then the whatever the value it have us i will take it from the array we know about the dynamic program right so it for it i can use here the dynamic programming next i have to find out that uh, what is the time complexity of this if dynamic programming we are not using what is the time complexity so we can see there in the worst case if we are not using any dynamic programming then we can take that if we are not using any dynamic programming then in the worst case these two things is not matching these two things this not matching it is not a good idea to take it so then it will be removed because in the worst case the both string if the any character is not matching any character of the string is not matching then in this case also it if it is not matched then that is not a good idea only this two will exist again it is not a good idea to take this two will exist this two will exist okay so if it is going on like this then i can say that it is dividing into sub problem of two okay then also you can say that we are dividing into sub problems of four it is dividing sub problem of eight in this way it is growing on so we can see that 2 4 8 in this way it is going on so 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 2 to the power 3 so exponential order it is this is 2 to the power k k is nothing but the height height of this tree what is the height here that is nothing but the maximum of two strings length 
first string length is m, second string is length. What is the maximum length? That will be our height. When still then this is this will be growing on. Okay. You can take uh, manually any example and can see that uh, it is happening. So what is the time complexity of this in general? So the time complexity of it is time complexity. It's time complexity equals to order of 2 to the power k. Okay. So if we write simple recursive algorithm, then its time complexity will be order of 2 to the power k. Now question is, and why the maximum uh, maximum of this two will be only our height means k? Why the maximum of these both strings uh, length will be our uh, k or the height? Because we are seeing here that we can see here that it is decreasing by one only. Whenever this is mismatch mismatch of the character, then we are decreasing by one. So that we can say that the maximum of that is k, right? Good. Now the question is, can we do it better? Can we do it better? Can we do it better? Yes, we can do it better because the power of dynamic programming. Because the power of the dynamic programming, we can do this in better possible way. So, what is the pseudocode of this? I will show in the next video that how the dynamic programming can reduce this time complexity. First, I will uh, talk. It is I am talking about the time complexity of order of two to the power k. It is the very. Uh, I know that it is the very exponential time complexity. Exponential time complexity. But how I I am making the exponential to this polynomial time complexity I will show you polynomial time complexity I will show you by the pseudocode so let's try to understand the pseudocode here okay so the pseudocode I am writing it okay then I will uh, give you the intuition or I will give you to understand that uh, how this UD course is working. This the LCM means longest common subsequence. I am taking three variable x, y, the string and the length of the strings m and n. Okay. First one I have to take an 2D array. This is of row m plus 1 and the column is n plus 1 this is actually our 2d array okay we will use two for loop here we will use two for loop here the first for loop is i equals to 0 to m it will go up to m and the second for loop is j equals to 0 to n why m and n it is m and n because i am taking the whole length they are taking the strictly all strictly the length of the string i am starting from 0 why i am starting from 0 you will see so now the condition is if i equals to 0 or j equals to 0 then l of ij equals to 0 okay else if else if l i equals to l of j minus 1 then l of ij equals to L of i minus 1 j minus 1 plus 1 because it is matching if you understood the above parts then you can very easily get it 
right else if it is not matching then we can say that l i j equals to max of l of i minus 1 j and l of i j minus 1 better take it uh, like this okay so max of this two okay this is actually our pseudo code so you can see that how many times this code is working this is the end time and how many times this code is working this is the m time so what is the time complexity here time complexity because the two for loop is is working so the time complexity equals to order of m into n so could you see that how the exponential problem CL problem I am making the polynomial problem I am making the exponential problem to a polynomial problem <coughs> good so how this code is working I am making a 2d array to store every elements I am making two uh, for loop the first for loop for the string one it will go for the second for loop it will go for this uh, it will go for the second string for the first strings if there is an two uh, i and zero or the j zero then i can say there is a no value of that why i am taking it for the convenience of the array whenever there will be i minus or the j minus one in this in this section then will it is easy to calculate so i am taking it from the i equals to zero j equals to zero and whenever i equals to zero j equals to zero then i can make l of i j equals to zero else if if the l of i minus 1 it will be okay if the l of i minus 1 equals to l of j minus 1 if both are making equal characters so s1 equals to x s2 x both are making same character okay then i can say that l of ij it is obviously it is going in this way so it will be x it will be x it is not x so then i can say the l of ij of this array equals to l of i minus 1 and l of j minus 1 means the previous element whatever we have whatever the length we have we have calculated it in for the previous previous loop plus 1 means it is incrementing in for the one time because the two character is matching because these two character is matching so I am doing this if it is not matching then I can say that the maximum of this two means maximum of this two I will take whatever the maximum of this two I will take I have already uh, given the intuition of that so this is the time complex this is the exponential to polynomial how can we approach we can see very easily right okay we are stopping here we are stopping here okay good